Hi, I'm Stevie, this is In The Geek Room, and this is my review of Cobra Kai Season 4, which I just finished watching yesterday. I, I vowed I wasn't going to binge watch this show, because I have a tendency to binge watch things that all me and my, my fiancé and I do. But I was vowed I wasn't going to binge watch this, which was going to plan until uh, episode 5 came around, and we just literally did it all in the evening. That shows you how good it is. Like the first three seasons, I found Cobra Kai to be more of a... It's a slow burn, it gets you up, gets you up, then BAM! Just overload for the last half of the season and this was no exception and it just gets you right gripped to it to write it to the end and I gotta admit that uh, John Hurwitz and Hayden Schlossberger have done it again they've they, they, they've made some great television they've took Karate Kid which when I was growing up this was one of my lesser franchises because you know behind Back to the Future Star Wars Indiana Jones Ghostbusters but they've took Karate Kid and made it completely relevant and made a really good show characters are there and that's the heart of it but it's not just the uh originals from karate kid but it's the ones from cobra kai so it, it, there's a great mix and they keep it up and the addition of thomas ian griffith returning for us karate kid threes terry silver superb it's got a really good arc this season and they are doing a fifth season and so it's and it's going to be interesting to see where they go with the fifth season. And but this is really enjoyable, and it gets the, the it, it's like I said, it's the last five episodes. I'm going to say six because it was episode four was the, for me was when it just really started to kick in, uh, especially with the story. And you don't actually know where they're going to take it. That's what is good. Cause they're going to go this way. They're going to go that way. And it's it's nice to actually watch something that's not predictable i mean it was a, for the this one is about the leading up to the all valley tournament and uh you know watch it find out if you don't know the arc of it just watch it and go into it without knowing it's you know uh, well, you will if you've actually watched season three but uh so but um, it's really really enjoyable and like i said the performances are there the characters are there and that's what makes the series and so yeah this is uh been a bit of a first i don't usually like i said i don't usually do tv shows but i'm gonna i give it this is a this is a four out of five for me because i did really enjoy it and i and i'm looking forward to seeing where they actually take the characters for season five and it's one of these shows is so good you just don't want it to outstay its welcome and i'm hoping that with season five they know where they're going and if it's as strong as this one keep going until they run out of ideas but uh, as i said if they can keep producing the quality that they have with the first four seasons they've got nothing to worry about i'm stevie this has been my review of cobra kai season four this is in the geek room and see you all soon